Good morning, everyone. Pete Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to another edition of Top 10 Songs. Today, we're going to take a look at a great band that we probably didn't have around long enough. All right. Uh, although they have plenty of albums and they've, they had actually been recording since the mid 80s, it almost seems like the flame of the mighty Pantera left us way too soon. And again, you know, on a weekend where we found out and lost, um, found out about and lost the great Neil Peart from Rush, uh, here we are talking about a band where we lost two of their members, the two brothers, way too soon. You know, Dimebag Daryl left us, seems like forever ago, uh, and then you had his brother Vinnie Paul leaving us last year. So, uh, you know, wounds still kind of fresh for some of these, but why not spend this time to reflect on some of the great songs from the Mighty Pantera? So here I'm going to list out my 10 favorite tracks, okay? And either, these are not necessarily the best Pantera songs of all time, okay? They're just my favorites. You might have different ones. That's totally cool. No, there's no right or wrong answer here. No picks are better than the others. It's just which songs touch us more deeply. I'm also going to list a bunch of honorable mentions. I'm not actually, however, going to go into their first four albums. Uh, reason being is I don't own them. I've only heard, you know, these are long, long out of print. Uh, I've only heard Metal Magic, Projects in the Jungle, I Am the Night, and Power Metal maybe twice each, if that. No, no, definitely twice each. May have heard them another time or two. I personally think there's a lot of good material on those albums. Yes, it's very different, but I like those albums. I think they're pretty cool. It's Pantera in their infancy, uh, but there's nothing wrong with that at all. And, uh, you know, I just think that um, they were still really fine in their way, uh, but you just can't deny the power and the riffs. You know, it was music of its time, obviously. But uh, So I'm not going to include any of those songs. I just don't know them well enough. All right, but I will say I am a fan of those first four albums, what I've heard of them, okay? So maybe at some point in time, if they ever choose to make those uh, available, uh, I will go scoop them up, and then we can do like a redo of this, looking back at some of those first four albums. Because like I said, a lot of what I've heard on them, I actually have liked. I just don't know them well. So let's start off at my top ten. I'm going to go from number ten to number one. We're going to start off at my number ten. We're going to go to the Far Beyond Driven album, which is an album that I like a lot. Uh, to Brutal album, it's heavy. God, I remember when that album first came out. I was like, Jesus, like you didn't think it, things could get any heavier after Vulgar Display of Power, but man, Far Beyond Driven. Woof. Brutal. Uh, five Minutes Alone. One of the things that I've always loved about Pantera's music, yeah, it's heavy, and it strikes that chord within me because I like heavy music, but uh, man, the amount of groove within that heaviness is always there. I think that Dimebag Daryl, you know, you know, he probably doesn't get enough credit from a lot of people, myself included, for being one of the best creator of heavy riffs ever. I mean, is there any Pantera song that was ever recorded that did not have a cool riff that had a ton of groove to it? I, I don't think so. You know, there, as I was going through, generally how, when I do these things, uh, I go through the entire catalog and I listen to all the albums again and just to kind of, you know, refresh myself as to, you know, which songs do I like better and stuff. And even on some of the Pantera songs that maybe I'm not overly crazy about the song, I still like the riff. Or riffs, I should say, because that guy was just like, you know, churning out riff rama left and right in every song and crazy-ass soloing. He was such a different, unique player that I know for me, you know, like when, when listening to a lot of the catalog over the last couple of days, um, I just kind of reminded myself that I think I sometimes take Dimebag's playing for granted and I probably like him a lot better than I actually give credit to four and two from time to time so five minutes alone from far beyond driven my number 10 coming in at number nine i'm going to go to the vulgar display of power album and uh, a new level uh, it's just classic classic aggressive pantera love it um you got phil's just real kind of gutsy vocals on that the you know the rhythm section just going working over time um yeah just, you know, and a lot of this music we're talking about came out, was coming out in a time where metal was like slipped back into the underground. 
you know, alternative and grunge was riding high and all the, the hair bands and all the stuff from the 80s was kind of like they were changing or scrambling to find out what to do with their sound. You know, you had like progressive rock and progressive metal starting to get popular. You had the, the extreme underground, right, starting to get really noticed. But like mainstream metal just wasn't really happening, right? But here you had Pantera doing this like ridiculously heavy groove-laden music, all right? A new level, number nine. Coming in at number eight, uh, we're going to go to the Cowboys from Hell album. Uh, one of their more commercial tunes, but I really dig it a lot, uh, Cemetery Gates. You know, that just showed that Pantera had a melodic side, uh, which was quite good. And I think that Phil was actually a very good kind of melodic singer when he wanted to be. I think most of the times he didn't want to be that was the thing but he could do it if he wanted to uh cemetery gates just a lot of great hooks in that tune it's still heavy though also i always dug that a lot uh coming in at number seven we're gonna go back to far beyond driven gotta go with hard lines sunken cheeks man right now i'm just hearing the riffs going on in the back in my head and i'm like oh man gutsy gutsy and groovalicious and heavy uh did a lot of dir doomy dirges in that and it's thrashy it's just like i mean that that tune is just like a personification that all the pantera could do so well all right Vinny's drums awesome you know rex on the bass his bass is all over all these tunes too really un underrated bass player all right coming in at number six from the great southern trend kill drag the waters drag them some more it's, uh, you know, I know I kind of like hit on this point a lot here, but the amount of groove in these songs, it's just like, you know, that you want to headbang them as much as you want to just kind of get moving, you know. Um, yeah, Drag the Waters, really great, great song that I dig a lot. Coming in at number five, the title track to Cowboys from Hell. I mean, how can you not have that on this list, right? What do you what do you call that? Is that thrash? You know, I know new American metal. I know it's kind of what they've always been tagged with groove metal, eh, whatever. It's that's great thrash metal in my book. Um, just killer riffs. Love the production of that album. Uh, it's just amazing when they go from the power metal album to that. You know, in two short years, all of a sudden, whoa, that doesn't sound like that, right? Killer stuff. Uh, let's see, number four, back to far beyond driven. Can you tell I like that album? Becoming. Wow, wow, bum, bum, bum. I just love that tune. And again, those heavy riffs and pinch harmonics and all the weird shit that Dime was doing. Just fantastic stuff. Man, he was like, you know, for me, I think in the 90s, he was like, he was the metal guitar god that in that decade. Had to be, all right? All right, number three. Let's go to the Reinventing the Steel album. Heavy album. Yeah, those those last two albums, damn heavy. Uh, maybe not as accessible as the ones that came before it, but some really good tracks on there. Uh, Revolution is my name. Love it. Easily my favorite song from that album. Barn burner of a tune. All right. All right, my top two um, were an easy pick for this list. The rest of it was kind of difficult, but uh, the top two I knew were going to be up there. Uh, from Vulgar Display of Power coming to number two, By Demons, Be Driven. Digga 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 da, digga 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 da, wow, digga 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 da, digga 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 da, da na 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 na. I mean, come on, <laughs> that that is just a an exercise in I'll say it again a cavalcade of rifferama. I mean, my lord, Jesus, it's great stuff, and I love Phil's like over the top vocal on that. Ugh, great stuff. I'm just sitting there. I got, I got that song playing in my head right now. I'm like, oh, got to listen to that again when I get done taping this. Uh, my number one song, Back to Far Beyond Driven. It's just a great album. Um, probably for me, their most memorable riff. And it's, again, just the, the groove is undeniable. It's just so fucking heavy. Um, I'm Broken. I mean, it just, ugh. And then Phil's vocals are just like, Man, just such a gutsy, kick-ass piece. I mean, that, that song will pummel you. That's what I like about it. But yet, man, it's it's accessible, though. You know? That's what's just so great about a lot of Pantera's music. It's like it's brutal, but yet there's there's the hooks there. You know? There's grooves there. 
It's one of the things that made them so unique, so different. All right, so that's my top ten. Let's go through some honorable mentions. Uh, from Cowboys from Hell, how about Primal Concrete Sludge, right? Psycho Holiday, of course, almost made my top ten. Heresy, Dominations, Shattered, Clash with Reality, The Sleep, The Art of Shredding, for Christ's sakes. I mean, that whole album is just great, right? Uh, from Vulgar Display of Power, Mouth for War. I had a hard time leaving that out of my top ten. I love it. Um, but it's very, that's a very honorable mention. That is sits just, out, just outside the top ten. Uh, Walk. Walk's kind of played. I was never as big a fan of Walk as some of the other tunes. It's still great, though. Uh, Fucking Hostile, obviously, is great. Uh, this Love. Another just outside the top ten song. I love this. I love this love. <laughs> uh, let's see. No Good Attack the Radical. Uh, live in a Hole. Fantastic. Regular People and Hollow. Hollow is another song that just outside my top ten. Hollow is very, very cool. Very moody, lengthy piece. Love it. Uh, let's see. Other stuff from Far Beyond Driven. How about Strength Beyond Strength? Slaughtered. 25 Years. Use My Third Arm and Throws a Rejection. Throws a Rejection. Love that a lot. Uh, from the great Southern Trend Kill, how about the title track? War and Nerve, Fuck the World. Tens. Tens rules. Uh, the Underground in America, another great track. Suicide Note Part 2. Part 1's pretty cool too, but Part 2 is really kick-ass. And from Reinventing the Steel, how about Goddamn Electric? Yesterday Don't Mean Shit. Today is what matters. Uh, you've got to belong to it. It makes them disappear. Another real fine song from that album, and another one that's just outside my top ten. Uh, I'll cast a shadow. Love the drive of that song, man. Uh, those burning riffs that just keep building and building. Fantastic stuff. All right, let's uh, replay my top ten one more time. Coming in at number one, I'm broken. Number two, By Demons, Be Driven. Number three, Revolution is My Name. Number four, Becoming. Number five, Cowboys from Hell. Number six, Drag the Waters. Number seven, Hardline, Sunken Cheeks. Number eight, Cemetery Gates. Number nine, A New Level. And number ten, Five Minutes Alone. There you have my top ten favorite tracks from Pantera. Like I said, yours may differ, and that's quite all right. Let's hear what your favorites are. Remember, there's no right or wrong answer here. Let's all respect each other's opinions. We all react to music differently. We like what we like, and that's quite all right. Okay, so let's uh, celebrate the music of Pantera, and uh, it's some great metal. It really is. Um, easily one of the best metal bands of the 90s, in my opinion, and for me... Uh, at the time, I wasn't listening to a lot of metal in the 90s. They were one of the few bands I was listening to. Uh, I, I got, you know, myself personally, uh, I started getting into a lot of different music in the 90s because I was a big-time metalhead throughout the 80s. But the 90s was kind of weird, right? So I started exploring other things. And uh, But Pantera, they were still there carrying the torch, which is great to see. They were probably the biggest-selling metal band, at least here in the U.S., uh, through many of those years. So pretty cool. Great band that, uh, you know, petered out a little too too early you know it's a shame that they didn't continue on but uh you know what happens when egos and all that kind of stuff uh get the best of you and uh you know it is what it is right but we still got a lot of great music to uh to enjoy for the rest of our lives pantera let's hear what your favorite 10 are and while you're uh, doing that don't forget to visit us on the web at www.catranquility.org we're on facebook we're on twitter of course we're here on youtube all the damn time We'll see you. Got more stuff coming up. More top 10 songs. Uh, best to worst albums. Actually, sorry. Worst to best albums. We have changed the title. Okay, officially. You've heard it here first. We are changing the title. Uh, thanks, everybody, for all your views and uh, sharing your love of Neil Peart on the two uh, tribute shows I did this past weekend. I really enjoyed doing those. They came from the heart, and I think you guys got that. And, and I love all the uh, thoughts and comments and feedback that you guys shared about your feelings about Neil and your uh, recollections of Neil and your memories of Neil and the music of uh, Rush and all that kind of stuff. So that's what this community is all about here. I'm glad to see everybody kind of banded together. Uh, that's what it's all about, right? So uh, thanks for that. Keep coming back. I'm going to keep delivering for you. That's why I do this. It's for you guys, right? It's for you guys and for the musicians and the bands out there. That's why I do this. Not for me. It's for you. So uh, we'll see you guys again uh, tomorrow, the next day. We'll see you multiple times this week. So take care. See you real soon. Bye-bye.